Rafael Benitez is refusing even to look at the Premier League table despite his Newcastle side climbing into fourth place with a win over Stoke. A day short of 20 years since the promoted Magpies famously beat Barcelona 32 in a Champions League encounter at St James Park, they found themselves sitting in the top four at the final whistle after skipper Jamal Lassels had headed them to victory for the second time in a week. However brief their stay may be, the locals among a crowd of 51,795 left St James Park in jubilant mood after witnessing a third successive league win and perhaps dreaming, albeit fancifully, of the days when the club once mixed it with Europe's aristocrats. But manager Benitez was keeping his feet firmly on the ground as he celebrated a successful return to the dugout. Asked how he felt when he looked at the table, he replied I haven't seen the table and I don't want to see the table, believe me. I said one game at a time and now it's just to be sure that the fans enjoy N. They can enjoy it, we have to enjoy it, but we have to be sure that the next training session, we start correcting things and improving things and doing things in the way we are doing things at the moment. That's our responsibility. Benitez is keeping his feet on the ground Getty Lassell's 68th minute header secured three more precious points towards Newcastle survival fund, but he and his teammates had to show real character after Jerdan Shachiri had cancelled out Christian Atsis opener. Benitez said the main thing is that, the togetherness, the work rate, the character, the whole team, the connection with the fans because the fans appreciate that. I put in the program notes that this is something that's really important players who want to stay, want to fight, want to defend the black and white shirt, and they're doing that. The fans, they appreciate that and for us to do that every week and the captain leading by example is something that you have to be really pleased with. The Newcastle captain rose highest to head his side into to the lead Getty the Magpies might have won more comfortably had former Stoke striker Joe Salou taken any of the three chances which came his way, although they were grateful to keeper Rob Elliott for three saves to deny Shachiri twice and maim Biram Juf. Stoke boss Mark Hughes was disappointed not to come away with anything as his side lost for the first time since the opening day of the campaign, but urged his players to learn the lessons of the reverse on Tyneside. Hughes was disappointed not to come away with anything Getty, he said we didnt play particularly well today I didnt think we were poor, we just weren't particularly as good as we have been in recent weeks, so that's the disappointment. We are going to face teams like Newcastle, who show us respect in terms of our ability and what we can do to teams and will sit back and invite us on, so we have got to be a little bit better and a little bit more accurate in our work and well be fine. The lad Lassell scored against Swansea the other week as well, so we're talked about his threat. But obviously the right ball right on to his head, it's difficult to defend under those circumstances. That was the disappointment because at the point, we had got back into the game and I thought. We were growing into our performance and we may well have got something out of the game. But in the end, it wasnt to be. Reuse content.